And we're moving on to global update. The risk of China's Evergrande group defaulting on its mountain of debt loomed large over nervous markets. Meanwhile, Boris Johnson and Joe Biden have held face-to-face -face talks in the White House. They were thought to have discussed topics such as climate change and the recent submarine deal with Australia. And more stories on today's International Minute. The risk of China's Evergrande Group defaulting on its mountain of debt loomed large over nervous markets on Thursday, as investors looked for signs of intervention by Beijing to stem any potential domino effect across the global economy. Analysts played down the threat of Evergrande's troubles becoming the country's Lehman moment, though concerns about the spillover risk of a massive collapse of what was once China's top-selling property developer have roiled financial markets. Iran's new president slammed U.S. sanctions imposed on his nation as a mechanism of war, using his first U.N. address since his swearing-in to forcefully call up Washington's policies in the region and the growing political schism within America. President Ibrahim Raisi on Tuesday delivered a far more critical and blunt take on American foreign policy than his moderate predecessor, Hassan Rouhani, had done in previous speeches to the U.N. General Assembly. Boris Johnson and Joe Biden have held face-to-face -face talks in the White House. The UK Prime Minister and US President were thought to have discussed topics such as climate change and the recent submarine deal with Australia. Speaking before the meeting, Biden said that they would also talk a little bit about trade. The UK government may consider joining a trade pact with the US, Mexico and Canada instead of pursuing a separate deal. The meeting between Johnson and Biden is the second time they have met in person with the first being at the G7 summit in Cornwall earlier this year. An election for Hong Kong's new election committee which only allowed patriotic candidates to run has concluded. The EC is responsible for choosing the city's next leader. It is the first poll since sweeping reforms to its electoral systems were passed. The number of registered voters was also slashed by almost 97%. Critics had earlier warned the voting reforms were designed to remove all opposition from the city's parliament. IDX Channel reports.